help you enjoy the game more. That's my whole goal. What happens if you die in D&D? It's really up to the... It's really up to the DM. Dying at levels like 1 to 3, though, are very rough on the DM because there's not a lot of power in the group yet. And they should, in all reason, be dead forever. Or have some sort of, like, delay. You play another character for a bit and then they come back recovered from their wounds or something like that. But... D&D &D is perhaps at its best when it's most deadly. And I think it's at its best when there are very few spellcasters, only one per group, so that he's real special. Anyway, Sky Temple, let's say hello. We didn't get a nitty, but we're not fighting a nitty. Howdy ho. Apparently we're gonna be a little quiet this game. Hello. Cool. Sounds good. I can take uh, support. like doing that stew cough this late, but get your stuff. Get your biz. I like that. I like that this guy showed both a KT and an Asmodan because he just likes circles, you know? He wants to paint circles. Do you have circles. a preferred role? I could support as well. Yeah, go for it. If it's your jam, man, I would probably grab like a gray main or maybe a second tank, depending on what we all have. Good to see you, Shermanator. Welcome back nine months in a row. Your PC does not need to be mega good to run HOTS, but to stream it, it kind of does. It runs on a single core. So modern computers, as streaming is such a core-intensive activity, they do not benefit from a multi-core processor. Uh, that is StarCraft as well. So that would be the biggest problem if you were looking to stream. Otherwise, you can turn this thing down to mad, mad potato levels if you so desire. And it still looks, I mean, it looks like Warcraft 3, honestly, when you turn everything off. It even looks a little worse than Max Graphics Warcraft 3. You could play this on any laptop. This is the Ark, I'd be interested to I'm ask. I'm trying to pick between Leoric, Zarya, Rhaegar, or Kerazine. I think that Lily is going to give Kerazine problems. Yeah, what was your other one? Actually, I don't think we want the Auric versus Malthail either. Uh, the K team looks good. The Auric's not awful here, though, so you can spawn back on top of the objective. Yeah, do the Rhaegar. That's great. Perfect. I will fight to my yeah, last breath. Kerosene might have problems against the blind. This looks good. Yeah, it gives us two big bodies for the pads. If they do something too pokey, I'll do a dive. Do a Nubarak, but old Malthiel isn't picking Tormented Soul anymore. Maybe I might still do a Nubarak. Yeah, pretty much everyone goes last right now. But yes, Ark, I wanted to ask you, how did, where did you feel like your druid really came online? Because, or not druid, uh, bard. Is there a certain level where you're like, finally, I have all the powers I need? Because I often find bard players struggle in the early game because they have this great personality, but their powers don't really kind of match that yet. It's that jack of all trades, master of none kind of problem, maybe, when it comes to D&D bards. I hear that. And permadeath's a fine choice. Want to play. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've done a lot of campaigns that just go really, really long times. Okay, we got Malfeel, we got Mal. I wonder what style of stitches we have. Me 
Yeah, that gives us another solo laner and some actual follow-up lockdown, so... I have seen the Enforcer skins. They are fantastic. Honestly, I asked Kristen yesterday if she would mind if I cut off the bottom of my beard so I could pull off this, this little number. It's awesome. Just want to see it, yeah, flying across the screen. Need that, that needs to be an animated GIF, really. Or spray. Our time has come. They went really melee heavy. They did, should be good for our Cassia. Help us too, so long as we can protect him. I think we have the better comp here. It'll still come down to like which team plays better, but totally, totally. No, we did like, good in I'm the draft. I'll take the uh, the bottom lane. Probably be Warren against Artanis down there. Would be my guess. Probably well, it might be Malpale, especially if they see you there. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big pile of health too. Quite the range in this game. But we've been seeing that all day. And yeah, that's the only hole we have on our team is uh, you're our only really good solo laner. Uh, Stitch is solo lanes well, right? Yeah, he can keep his health high. And even Cassia can pull it off. And they did do a Nazebo, but other than that. Yeah, theirs would be Malphail on our tennis. I used to run a lot of Nazebo on this map, but the chokes are so large that over time his power kind of waned away. Parrot and Roids? <laughs> it's an odd name. It's it's cool, guys. Lily's a Tychus player. We don't need to worry about it. Alright. Get your bus ready for some combat. Interesting. You could make for a powerful ally. What do we... We have more stuns, so we could totally party for the site if we wanted. Let's see. It's going to be swaps. Hope you're ready. We got ten seconds left. I think it most depends on whether or not we have stuff to stack up. Four, and we do. We have three, a... I am the queen spear. One. It is past chicken time. Hmm. Who's my healer? Rhaegar. Okay. Let's do shield. Stuck on the wrong side of that. Yeah, good swaps will happen, no worries. Cool, I'm on my way bottom. Smoking. And if I had hit Lee, Lee of course, take it over. That would have helped out and not taken me as deep, but Lily did dodge and the KT received that swap and at least it I think happened. The biggest thing was we were just were not on the same page there. Nazebo's rotating mid. He might be trying to double soak. Oh, he's swapping out with Artanis. Might be going top. Cool, I got two bottom got for a little Cassia. bit. Yeah, I've got not much. Yeah, watch out for that Archanis, he's missing. I bet you the Archanis is doing their camp bottom. Well 
light of the sun grows within the temples. Soon they shall bask in my glory. Cool, I'll clear out bottom and then be up there. Three mid. are slacking. I got him slowed. Well, our bot should take care of itself. Let's get the pads. Let's take over mid. I think we still trade here. I'll let you take over this. Actually, we got one bottom. You guys run top and see if you can get a couple shots out of that one. Cool. Can someone grab bottom? Uh, Nazebo will get that wall down until I'm up. Of the temple sleeps. Cassius going. Awesome. Uh, looks like we got coverage on every lane. That's good. I had no idea Stitches could solo the Bruiser camp at level 2. It wasn't quite solo. I helped him out. Oh, okay. <laughs> But he got most of it by Yeah, himself. no, I'm still impressed. And it looks like we got bruiser style stitches. He went slam. Cool, that works with the double tank. He should have a shade for me, so I'll go ahead and back up. Care bottom, they're rotating. Mouth heal's missing. I think he's doing bruisers. He's back. Would be the time for it. Just so content? All right, cool. All right, so we got cups, last rites. Okay, cool. Let's wait till everyone's down here. I'm going to bunker, jump in if you have the last rites. Or the laser beam. Arcanus just wasted his swap. Um, mouth ails in mid, so we're good to engage. If I can control mouth ail. Make things a lot easier for my whole team. Control Malthiel, he's on KT. Nice job. Cool, I'll go get on the pad. Tapping. That's good. Looks like they're heading for Soak and Top. They got Nazebo up there too. That's their best option. Scorched. 
Oh no, was he? He's not connection though. Cool. You have stolen enough of my temple's power. Return. All right, so they have a little bit of a building lead. That's a stun on Rhaegar. Coming to you, Rhaegar. Got That was an amazing blind, Cassia. All right, I'll get top. That was a good bunker too. One foot extra crispy. Nice, we got bottom. I think we could use some mercenaries on our side. It looks like we have a slight lead right now. Not particularly good at this, it seems. Clearing out until that wizard's gone because of my fire. All right, let's see. This is survivability level. We have top damage on Nazebo, Muradin, Malthiel, Lili, Artanis. Sorry, Cassio, it's nowhere near you. You didn't know you were in trouble. Oh, let's save the stitches. The night of the sun. I don't know if I can get there fast enough. Nice job. Might get two. That's two down. Nice job, KT. Well, I'll take a two for one. Cool, we got control of top, so let's put Cassia up there. I'll channel this for what it's worth. Yeah, split them up. Cool. My I'm on my way. Magic flows through the temples. Guardians, do not let these mortals approach them. That's scary. Nice. That top will shoot middle wall, so it looks like we're good. Yeah, push bot. Now yeah, I don't. We should be pushing that boss. I like what you're doing though. Yeah, let's force that bottom keep. I'm on my way with these mercs. Nice kill. Bunker for your cast. We can core with this. Yeah, we still got the bomb. Just focus it down. Yeah, honestly, if Murder wants to punch me, I don't really care. GG, yo! Such calm it's games. Yeah. Was it 11 minutes? Was that 11 minutes? Oh my goodness. And on Sky Temple. Yeah. A oh, good game. I hope I don't have to go against you next time. <laughs> well done. Yep. See you on my team. See ya. Yeah, right? Decisive. So what did they mess up? Was there a mistake? They ran a Lili. That's not a problem. Lili's fine. Nazebo, or Malthiel, Cassia. Okay. So I guess KT's poke with Cassia. Ca ah, yeah, that's probably it too. Because Cassia did charge strikes, Ring of the Leech, Impale, slows martial law we had 16 on him we had bruiser stitches who didn't get too much damage out but this so you got one two three four people who are all going to be clogged together Lily's trying to position in so that her cups target the correct person so she has to be standing next to the correct person and 
they got they got schooled. So yeah, the pylon with KT there, very powerful. But what do you what do you change? They wanted a second tank, they wanted to do Artanis. So that you can hold the pads. Okay, cool. Malthiel could hold the pads as well. Cassia, Blaze. So our Stitches with a Bruiser build was able to solo lane, which gives us one more, two solo laners, but Malthiel's lost power. Maybe that's it. Maybe Malthiel doesn't have the solo lane capabilities to beat Blaze, Rhaegar, Cassia. Because Nazebo loses most of his solo lanes. He's a, He's got to get stacked up. And in my opinion, has to have his level four. Here he went with increased health and bonuses because he was worried about maybe getting ganked or just blowing up to the damage. But it was a Toad's build with unreliable damage too. Which wouldn't help his regeneration, but he wasn't really in lane that long. So I'd say of all our games today, this was the least... the least draft dependent. Our team isn't exactly the most beautiful thing either, but... Oh, check it out. This guy did all Feral Heart, Blood and Thunder, and Wolf Run. Hunger of the Wolf, too, later on. Interesting. Def Earth Shield with the Ancestral. That's the main stack. Ball of Lightning. That Phoenix. That, that hit in that bottom lane when they were all piled up and I landed that stun. That was pretty cool. Maybe Bran. I mean, I, I think... <laughs> Well, 